So we're just about at the midpoint in June, and I want to first say thank you to our graduates who we had wonderful high school celebrations to our families, our students, our staff, and to our principals for leading that. I think that was very successful. And but I will tell you, we're getting a lot of questions about what the beginning of the school year is going to be looking like. And I think our priorities are gonna align with, we want to see students back in school, but we wanna make sure that they're safe and we keep them healthy along with our staff and our families in our community. So how are we gonna do that with students returning? Well, I want to let you know we have a group out there that has been working diligently since about the middle of May in planning what these scenarios could possibly look like given uh, what's happening in our community with the pandemic. And so we've looked at ultimately one plan and having students return uh, as we have seen school in the past. We've also looked at uh, po possible alternatives with A-B schedules, with half the students coming on one day and half the students coming on another day. I recognize the challenges, though, that that presents for families, especially around uh, childcare. We've also looked at hybrid models where perhaps maybe for some part of the week, uh, students are receiving instruction remotely, and for other part of the week, they are with face-to-face -face instruction. We understand our business is a relationship business and students learn best when they're in a face-to-face -face or establish that strong relationships with teachers and I think our teachers do a wonderful job with that. So we're looking at a variety of options. Right now too, we've asked our staff to prepare themselves if they need to either return to remote or you know, uh, have remote as an um, alternative. And so I want to congratulate our teachers. We've got over 400 right now who are participating in learning how uh, to strengthen their skills for teaching online. We're also working with our curriculum folks and our school principals to look at the past nine weeks and some of the key standards and things that we want students to know and reinforcing those when we return to school. So there's a host of work that's going on. We are looking at also aligning our plan very closely with the state and the options that they are providing for us. And I must say, this is going to be a fluid or dynamic process, and we're going to have to be willing to adjust. School, I have to share with you, is going to look different than what we all may be familiar with in the past or from our own experiences. And I think I'm happy to say we've got the people on the ground, We've got the talent and the skills to be able to do this, and we want to work with families, and we also want to work with students in accomplishing that. I'll be back, I'll be sharing updates with you, and we're all moving in the direction to prepare for students to return on August the 18th. Thank you for understanding, thank you for being patient, and I look forward to hearing from you about ideas or thoughts that you may have. Ultimately, we want the students to be part of Berkeley County today and in moving forward because of the wonderful things that we do in preparing them for life.